Good day everyone. First off, I want to thank everyone that has supported me and subscribed to my channel. And I would like other people, if you want to support me to reach the first goal, which is 1000 subscribers, to help me out and subscribe so that I can be encouraged and make more and more quality videos for you. And now, what we will cover? We will cover Q4 OS. When you think of Q4 OS, you think of a very lightweight distribution. It is well known for its Trinity desktop environment, which runs on very low end PCs. But now they have also the KDE Plasma desktop, which are also very popular with them. So they have only two desktop environments, the Trinity or the KDE Plasma. So what you have here behind me is the default wallpaper for the K4, Q4 OS. And you can see here the installation installed Q4 OS. But before we have this welcome screen, which is also very useful, we have the run desktop profiler. If I click it, it will give me guide me to the installation. But I, do, I, I rarely use it because I don't install Q4 OS on three, four, five machines or only on one machine, which is very, very low end. And that's that's all. So here you have an option, for example, if you want to export a profile. So if you install Q4 OS and you want a profile of all the programs on all the settings that you have done, you just export the profile and keep it with you. And when you install it again, you can import the local profile and do the installation. So it is also specific and very nice to have uh, in distribution. You won't see it in many distributions. So that's for the desktop profiler. If we look for, uh, also on the applications, it's the same thing, but I don't want to use it unless I installed the system. Screen scaling is the same. If you have a problem directly when you, when you go live, you directly press the screen scaling and it will do it for you the resolution, let's say 1920 by 1080 or maybe higher, you can directly press the screen scaling and it will do it for you. The same thing for set auto login. So it will be easier for you if you don't want to put the password every time. And also here the hardware info, if you have a problem with anything in your hardware or a driver, you directly copy this one into the forums so that they can, they can help you out. And here the last one is the install property codex. This is very important for the multimedia so that you don't have any problem with audio or video or encoding, etc., etc. So that's basically the welcome screen. We will cover it also after the installation, but let's first start with the installation. So here we pick the installed Q4OS. So here first, American English, you can change the language. The same thing here with the region. You pick your region and the zone and we click next also the keyboard English and default very simple Calamaris installer and here we have four options the pure live basic desktop desktop is the full featured one I don't like to use the desktop it's better to use either the basic or the live the live is the one that you have seen so if you if you start with the with, with the system here and you like all the applications that are involved here so it is good for you to use the live and that's why what i will use i will use the live next you put whichever you want you can install alongside replace erase manual partition and if you notice here i already installed the system it's telling me debian 12 bookworm so let us do like this Next, you put uh, the name, let's say Q4OS. You can put any username that you want. You put a bad password, don't do that. Next, and you look here and it is ext4 and it has Linux swap and you can start with the installation. It is very easy and we will install it and we'll come back when it's finished. And we are now in the installed section. So let us continue also with the welcome and we will elaborate more. So here in the run desktop profiler, as I told you, we could have chosen one of these three. 
there's also one thing we can do here the desktop environment is KDE plasma let's say we want to install an additional desktop environment let's say I want LXQT budgie Trinity and we can install Trinity and KDE plasma and there is no problem they are separate things and we will not have any problem with the desktop environment that's the advantage that this desktop profiler gives us and Q4OS worked on so that we don't have any problem between any two desktop environments even if we install an additional one so that's for the desktop profiler here we have the install the applications and if I click it this is special for the Q4OS and if you notice here we have 53 applications so this is not Debian Debian has 40,000 but only it has 53 applications so these are only the ones that are available in the software center so here if you want you can pick whichever you like for example and install it there is chromium you can install firefox if you want chrome there is the update manager multimedia codecs you can install them from here if you want and as for the other debian what you have to do is you have to install the discover manager so first off let us install the discover manager as you notice here it is like we are in windows 2000 so they have this app which is very cool so you'll have some nostalgia if you have if used windows 2000 or windows xp you have this one available and they are very well known for theming if you want to theme windows 10 they have also another example how you can theme your uh, your system to be like windows 10 i don't know if they will do windows 11 but now you have windows 10 also it is also themed so it is installing and it has finished we click next and we click finish so now we have this plasma discover here also we have the update manager let us click it so it is downloading update manager the same next and install this is very important if you want to update your system without using the terminal you will have this update manager directly okay next and finish and it is finished you have successfully updated update update watcher has been started on the background and is active from now so we have it active for now so if you have any problem it will give you a notification to update so it is very well useful the other thing which i like to have in all debian distributions is the multimedia codecs because it's difficult to install multimedia codecs and not all the time they have them correctly done but here you have it also here and you can click it and also you have it in the welcome screen but i will not do it i will i will continue with the other things that we need to do the other thing is since we installed the discover we can directly run it or we could have run it directly from the start okay so that's if you have all the programs now we have all the system all the system that you need to install is available here all the debian repositories everything what i really like to have always in debian is the flat packs so the flat packs are very important and if you notice here update we have update one we need to have one update so let us put update all first to finish this 96.3 kilobytes so that we will, we will have a clean system okay so that's it we are now up to date great so we look at the setting and if you notice here in the setting we have all these there is the repo for q4os and the debian bookworm and here we have the flat pack backend so let me install it so we don't have a problem and it's done let's go out and come back again discover manager let's go to setting so in the setting here we have let us make it as make default 
add flat hub we put the password and that's it let me get out and get back in okay that's it if I let us check if flat pack is installed so we search for shortcut and this is shortcut sources and if you notice the reason why I told you to use flat pack is the following for me I use I use shortcut the Debian one is 21 12 22 and we we know that it is Debian bookworm which is a new one and it is more than six months old here the flat pack it is 14 6 20 23 so that's Debian, that's the problem with Debian, and that's why flat packs are very good. Or the snaps, but I prefer flat packs for that. Okay, so everything is fine now with the discover. Let's go out. We have the development is Kate. The internet, we have this Chromium, you can, we could have installed other, and there's Conqueror as web browser also, so we have two web browsers. For the setting, we have the system setting, we have the system, this is the software center and the welcome screen, and there's also a system monitor to check everything and also another terminal. Let us come back to the welcome screen. And we already discovered this one and this one and auto login and scaling and hardware info we remain is the install property codex so now it is checking and here we have next we install and it is finished the thing for a multimedia codex is that if I want to check that if everything is installed I do a certain I install a certain application and check if the codex are installed if you have another alternative just put it in the comments below so what I will do most probably in that case is I go to the discover discover let's say and in discover I have a program I install is Voco screen this is a very simple uh, installer okay so this one is it is a screen recorder but it gives me all the codex and you will see how it will do that Okay, we launch it. Let me close this one. This is the screen recorder. Here we have all the formats. We have everything in the audio. It is all installed. We still have the H264, which is not installed on this system. But in general, everything will work. For me, what I will do is I will install a program an application a package for this one h264 let me install it so let us go for terminal I don't like to use the terminal in, in KDE but so here you need to sudo apt install gstreamer 1.0 dash plugins dash bad this is only for q4 os look how many it is involved in order to install it but we need to install this one and it is done let me close it let me close voco screen and go again voco let me put it again and now everything is ticked so all the multimedia codecs are installed the last thing we will talk talk about is the appearance and it, they have a very good theme they they use that's why we will use it and it is the Q, q4 os debonair this is a very nice theme and it will tell me the following will be applied by this in the appearance setting 
and also if you want the desktop and windows layout so you we click apply so that's basically the theme a very clean theme let's say i want to run kate so it looks fine this uh, this theme is uh, it looks fine you have here the chromium you have here the discover so directly you have access for the system settings chromium discover and dolphin so it is very easy to use this this theme i like this theme and i will keep it i will keep it if we want to talk about the, the ram usage the ram usage is around 800 870 megabytes and of course we are using the the debian bookworm kernel which is 6.1 if we want to look at the wallpapers there's not much wallpapers here q4os they don't have wallpapers here these are the ones with debian let's take this one for example apply they only use the debian so finally q4os is very interesting distribution especially kde they have a very specialized team they have also these applications which make your the, the things are easier on Debian, especially the multimedia codex, which Debian has problems sometimes in order for the installation, you'll have some problems. And also the flat pack, it's very easy to install flat packs without using the terminal. We use the terminal only one time, and this one may, be, may not be a, a drastic thing for, for average users but uh, overall it is very fast and very uh, very responsive and i highly recommend it not only for lightweight systems so thank you for uh, for everything and we'll be back tomorrow with another video